Hello, welcome back, and today I'm here for a new episode of A Girl's Reflections. The topic we are going to cover today is the importance of putting ourselves first and doing so without feeling guilty. The truth is that no one taught us to be kind and understanding to ourselves. We grew up to be good people and that's because of the upbringing we had where we were taught to treat others well, to help others. But when it comes to being kind to ourselves, it's a different story. No one teaches to love ourselves, to trust ourselves, to practice self-love. And we don't learn to look in the mirror and say, I love myself and I'm amazing. I'm capable and I can do it. And this is something that should be encouraged since childhood. Just like in any relationship with other people, we cannot maintain a healthy relationship with someone if we are not happy with ourselves. Balance starts from the inside out. You cannot try to do the opposite. Prioritizing ourselves should be seen as a fact, as a necessity, because it is essential for our well-being. Because even if you wanted to help others, to be there for them, if you are not happy with yourself, you if you are not like at 100%, how could you give your best if you are not in a position to do so? When I talk about complimenting, complimenting ourselves in the mirror, recognizing our abilities and nurturing our confidence, it is important to know that this type of practice is still surrounded by judgment. And I think that just thinking about doing this makes us feel ashamed or it seems like there is something stopping us from doing it. We are taught that by doing this, we can like appear selfish, conceited or self-centered but the question is if I don't speak well of myself who will do that taking care of myself is a choice a responsibility that belongs to me and it is a way of protecting myself from unnecessary wear and tear when I prioritize myself I stop worrying about things that could often be harmful I stop getting frustrated with Uh, relationships where I put the other person above myself and my needs when I when I give everything of myself and get nothing in return and prioritizing myself prevents me from wearing myself out thinking about my needs means making more conscious decisions for example if a friend invites me to go out or a friend calls me to come over to their house to talk about something you know like it's normal for my first reaction to be like to want to be there but if I wake up on a day when I'm not feeling well when I just want my own space and some peace then why force myself to go sometimes like the conversation may even be limited to drama and issues that instead of nourishing me they will drain my energy And like, I like this person, of course, and they are important to me, but it's also important to realize that I may not be available for every encounter. And after all, if I go out and come back exhausted with no energy for my own things, like what's the point? I have to live my life and until I do what I need and want for my own day, I can't just be there for other people. And it's important for people to understand that I don't have to be there for them all the time, just as I need to understand that myself. And what I want has to come first, and how I feel has to come first. If I don't learn to be like selfish from time to time, I will always end up putting the well-being of others above my own. And being selfish like has saved so many people that were in this type of situation precisely because these people stopped giving up their well-being for others. And this can never be an option. So yes, be selfish. You own it to yourself. 
if you simply don't feel good in a situation or in an environment, just leave that place. Put your needs first, fill your own cup before you think about filling others. Live lightly, enjoy your own company, love yourself, hug yourself, celebrate your achievements, because at the end of the day, the only person who will always be by your side is you. And it is to you that you own all the love and respect in the world. And that's all for today. I hope you liked this episode. And that's it. See you next time. Bye.